Hi, today I wanted to show you a quick demo of how to use Power Query in Excel. So basically what Power Query is, is a tool that's almost hidden in Excel that allows you to transform and clean data. So what I want to do is take this list here that I have, which is basically my registrations that I downloaded from a website, and I want to break it down into a smaller list with less columns and to kind of clean up the data as I do it. So I'm going to use Power Query. Before I begin though, it's always easier to create a table. So as long as I'm clicked on any cell in this list, I'm just gonna real quick go up to the Home tab, choose the Format as Table option, and pick a style. Make sure that it uses the very first row as headers by choosing My Table Has Headers, and click OK. So this list that I just created is what I'm going to bring into Power Query. Before I start though, I wanna make sure that when I create the query, I understand what my data is. So under Table Design, I'm gonna go up to the table name and I'm going to give it a name. Since this is registrations, I'm just gonna type in registrations as the name. Now I'm ready to bring it up into Power Query. To bring this into Power Query, as long as I'm clicked anywhere on the list, I'm gonna to go to the Data tab and choose under Get and Transform Data from Table Range. When I do this, it's gonna take the table that I've selected and it's gonna bring it up into the Power Query Editor. So the Power Query Editor basically shows me all the columns and the records in each column in this little preview screen. Then over on the right, it has what's called my query settings. For my properties, whatever it shows in here for the name is the name of the query that I'm creating. So once I'm done and I bring it back into Excel as a new sheet and a new table, this will be the sheet name and the table name. So I'm just gonna do Excel registrations as the name. The next thing um, I wanna do is I'm gonna start getting the data ready for what I actually want to show up in a new worksheet. So I actually don't need the order ID column to show up, so I'm just gonna click on that column and press delete. This will remove the column from the list. As far as the order date, I actually don't need the time to show up. I only care about the date they actually placed the order. So if I go up here to the ribbon under the Home tab, there's a section in the Transform group where it shows the data type. Right now it's set to date time. I'm just gonna clean it up and make it a date. I don't need the attendee status to show up, so that's another one that I'm just gonna press the Delete key and get rid of it. And I'm okay with everything else as far as the name and the email, but for as far as the event name, I actually want to filter this list because I want to create a new worksheet that just shows any classes that I've taught that are Excel. So just like when you work with a table or you're filtering a list in Excel, you have this little filter drop down. I'm going to click on that and basically I'm just going to go to search because I have all kinds of different Microsoft classes in here. I just want classes that have the word Excel in it. So that's what I'm going to search for and when I click OK. I've just filtered to the list to just the Excel classes. The other thing I wanna do is I have lots of different classes that are on here and they're right now they're in date order. I'd rather keep all the classes with the same names together. So I'm gonna go back to that little filter list and I'm going to tell it to sort it in ascending order. So now it'll be in ascending order by class instead of sorting it by date. The last thing that I want to do is I don't actually need the rest of these columns. So I'm going to select ticket quantity, then use my shift key and select ticket price. That'll select all three columns and I'm going to press delete. And so now, even though I picked from that entire table, I'm really only using four different columns and I filtered the list to basically just show the classes that have the word Excel in them. As I've done that, if you look over here on the right, I've created some applied steps. So basically every single thing I just did is showing up in different steps. But really all I wanted to do here is just show you how quickly you can create a list from another one. So I'm ready to close this and load it back into Excel. 
So if I just click on the close and load button, all that that's going to do is create a new worksheet and it's going to have the name that's the same as the query I just created and in it will be a table of just the Excel classes. So the great thing about using Power Query is my new worksheet, Excel Registrations, is actually linked to my Attendee Summary Report worksheet. So if anything changes in this source worksheet, for example, I'm just going to go to the very end and I'm just going to delete this very last row, which is this person named Twyla who took Excel Level 1 Basics. If I just remove that, and go back to Excel registrations, they're linked together. So in this sheet, right now, if I scroll down a little bit, find the Excel basics on the same date, there's Twyla. Once I do what's called a refresh, if I go back to the data tab or the query tab, either one, and choose refresh, it's going to automatically refresh the source, which is the attendee summary report sheet, and then it's going to change the information and the new sheet to match that. So I no longer have that person showing up in my list. So it's actually a really great tool because you could use it to clean up your data. It automatically links the data. And if anything changes in your source, it also will change in the list that you created through Power Query. So if you ever need to transform or clean data that you receive, maybe by importing it from another place or from a very large list, Power Query is really your tool.